So finally hands on with HyperOS 3. This is the first look which I've installed and let's see which other things available if you're using HyperOS previous version and you want to know which other things available with HyperOS, what are the upgrades and many more things. Make sure to watch this video till the end. In this video, we'll talk about some of the major things, major changes you will notice after installing HyperOS. Nothing more than that HyperOS 3.0 I'm talking about. As right now, it is in beta stage available only in China. So you might notice some of the features might not come in India, but many features will. If you are able to notice the new status bar icons and you know that I know that how they are inspired from and from where they actually got these icons from. And this is actually looking like a theme if you are using HyperOS 2.0 and so on. It's actually looking like a theme applied in HyperOS 2.0 and we are getting this thing with HyperOS 3 by default. So quite strange, but it is what it is. Same goes with the control center, the quick settings panel in Android AOSP. You can say you have similar kind of UI like if you're using a theme, but the reality is this is not a theme. This is a by default UI in HyperOS 3.0. We are getting some changes with personalization tab where you have the option to to have you have the option to choose the lock screen clock wallpapers and adjust the depth clock blur so basically lock screen editing and so on all these things are present here for example if you notice here you have the option to adjust the clock styles there are various clock styles available here you have big clocks, small clocks and some other options available. It also has the option if you want to enable depth wallpaper or not. Have the option to customize the fonts and so on. There are a lot of options available in this case. So in the terms of customization, as you know, HyperOS always has a lot of customization. So same goes with this one. If you move on to home screen options, same like iOS, you have the option named as blur. So if you want to enable blur only on home screen, you have the option that and you if you don't want to use that, you have the option to disable that thing too. So this is about about the personalization section and you have the option to switch between different styles. So if you have applied one of these options, you can. It's nothing unique. It's just a UI which has uh, actually changed or minor changes in the terms of UI, not a major change, but it's here. So just wanted to let you know. If you move on to personalization section, you have all these sets available. So you simply click on apply and you will be able to apply any one of these options in case you want to. Including these options, we also have same goes with the lock screen customizations. If you are into lock screen, same like HyperOS 2.0, if you swipe, you can switch between different different styles. Also by swiping up and down, you have some pre-installed styles already available. In this case, some of these will be new to you. Some of these might not be because all these things are already present with HyperOS 2.0. And some of the apps are actually also present. If you want to enable some of those features in HyperOS 2.0, you cannot these lock screen customizations by the way but some of the apps like gallery phone and so on and also i shared that phone app with you on my other channel too so in case you did not notice yet you can go and check out that if you want to install hyperos 3.0 dialer right now on hyperos 2.0 i'll talk about that later on in a bit but for now this is about lock screen customizations which you are getting let me show you some other things for example dynamic island as expectedly we have dynamic island available in this case as you always as, as you always see on internet right now that many things are getting inspired from ios maybe or maybe some other ways but we're getting this dynamic island kind of thing which xiaomi called super island but the reality is it works almost same not a major difference maybe some minor changes but most of the things shall remain same we also have this new ui in the terms of lock screen shortcut settings so this is not a new feature. This is not a unique feature. It is already here from some time, but it is just we're getting new UI. So just wanted to let you know, we have the option to adjust, uh, simply choose the left or right shortcuts directly on the home screen, obviously on the lock screen and also from the settings app. We also have this Xiaomi AI kind of things, which definitely will not come in India. Most likely maybe minor things, but most of the things will not come in India. So I guess we do not have to talk about this. But if you're into China, if you are into China versions, you might notice that the change is available with the dialer. Not a not major change, but only in this UI. This is called in call UI in con incoming call, not is actually in call UI call screen UI. We have changes there. If you want to enable this kind of dialer in HyperOS 2.0, you can simply install the APK file and go so on. And I have shared that video on my other channel too. So you can go and explore that. 
We also found a new gallery editor in this case. So whenever we try to edit some things, you will notice some changes here too. So yes, some of these changes are so good. Some of the changes might not as good as you think, but actually these are available. So just wanted to let you know. For now, these were things just wanted to let you know if you want to check it out. If you if your device supports HyperOS 3.0, only the latest flagship devices support right now. You can give it a try. If it is not supported, you might see some ports. Like in this case, I'm using in Poco F5. For now, this is it. Thanks for watching. Hope you like this video, and I will see you in the next one. Take.